This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. The lettuce is scattered all over the garden. Travel down each patch and path until you reach the head of lettuce, then continue to pick it while there's still some left. Okay, so here's one thing of lettuce. So I want to travel all the way down this path. Move forward, move forward, move forward. And you should be screaming, if you're repeating code like this, you can probably use a loop instead. Notice how many times, and I would even have to do it more, I think. So what loop should I use or repeat block? While there is lettuce, hmm, no, I don't want to move forward while there's lettuce because I'm not going to be standing on lettuce. I'd never move. Repeat until there is lettuce or do five times. Well, I think it's going to be five times. So let me try this. I'll tell you it's not the best choice, but let's test it. <laughs> okay, well, I got there to this one. Good. Here's the problem. These aren't all the same length, right? Obviously, this path is shorter than this path is. So we can't use that. What we could do, what if we repeat until there is lettuce? Meaning, hey, keep doing the code inside of this until you arrive at some lettuce. Boom. Let's see if that will get us to here. Boom. Now we're at the lettuce. Now what do we want to do? Well, we want to pick it. And I've used four out of the seven blocks I should. Oh, well, this is definitely not enough. Okay. Well, how many times do I want to pick it? Well, I'm not sure, right? So if I use this repeat five times, sometimes the lettuce is six, right? So that time it was six, now it's seven. You can't really give it a number, that won't work, but we can use while there is lettuce. So now, and remember these, you don't want to put these inside because that, if I put it up here, repeat until there is lettuce, do move forward while there is lettuce, the computer says, what? Because it's repeating this code as long as there's not lettuce. So then saying, while well, there is lettuce, nope. But if I click it under here, right under it, now the computer will only run this code after it finishes repeating while there's lettuce, uh, until there is lettuce. So it's going to move forward until there is lettuce. And once there is lettuce, it says done with this loop, drops down and runs the next line of code, which is this loop, which is going to have us pick lettuce. Boom, 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 boom. And now what? Well, we want to turn left, right? And then what? Hmm. I'm going to want to move forward till there's lettuce. Nope. Repeat until there is lettuce. And then when I get there, what am I going to want to do? While there's lettuce, I'm going to want to pick it. And then what? Turn left again, I think. And then what? Well, I need to move forward. Well, let's get test this out. Picking lettuce, I just turned. Picking lettuce. Now, what am I going to want to do? Well, repeat until there's lettuce. What do I want to repeat? Move forward. While there is lettuce, what do I want to do? Pick lettuce. Now look, what if I did this? And I could turn left here at the end. It doesn't really matter. This is two loops, two repeat blocks, or two wall loops, wall uh, next to each other, and I'm repeating them one, two, three times. Don't repeat code. Instead of writing out all of these blocks, I can always just use the repeat block itself, put it right here, and instead of writing it three times, I'm going to make the, the computer do the work and just tell it, hey, run this code three times. So it starts running this loop one time, and it runs through this loop until there's lettuce. Once it's done with that loop, it runs through this loop until we pick all the lettuce. Then we turn and it restarts. Find the lettuce, pick all the lettuce, so on and so forth. These are getting tough. Awesome. Onward.